you spin me right round, baby. Hello, everybody. I got a match against Paratos here today, and it's gonna be an all you match. Uh, it's a battle ahead against him. Well, it's actually a rematch from a few months ago uh, that I had a few months ago um, with my RU team that I was fiddling around with. Uh, I'm bringing back Fangles and Slacking, sets it back Slacking, the big good old Quillfish, Archeops that does shit and misses all the moves as you'll see it will do in this match. And I'm bringing uh, Subat in because it's a Calm Mind Simple variant and I kind of want to use it because uh, it worked well only for me. Um, biggest threat on his side of the field is actually going to be the probably the Kragonaut and Envar because they can just wreck holes on my team. And uh, Kragon is definitely quite fast, and it has powerful ice beam it's, and it's disposal. So yeah, that and uh, Ember off his scarf can dare holes through my team because I don't have a scarf on my own. But yeah, he leaves with a uh, semi poor. Didn't expect that at all. I uh, thought he wanted to go into uh, try to go and start with Gavis, like stealth rocks and stuff, but just go for a leaf storm to my powerful move. And um, yeah, Kragon comes in, doesn't do too much to it, because especially if it's a monster. And go into my uh, Dust Noir now because um, I can take his uh, ice beam for day. Ice beam for days, and um, yeah, he shouldn't be able to do much to me. So, um, with that being said, I'm uh, that happens, and he goes into Sigilyph, and I mean, I'm actually gonna, he's, we're both gonna double switch. I'm gonna go into Archeops right now, and um, this isn't gonna work well for me because he has the better, of, he has the better of advantage here. But as you can tell by the music, slacking is in. Bad news is they freaking paralyzed me, and that is not good at all because now he's gonna be able to go up with Stealth Rocks. But unfortunately for me. Get that sexy, beautiful Giga Impact off, and that is one destroyed, destroyed Dragon. He is max defense and max HP, he said, so just the power, choice banded, Giga Impacting, slacking, base of 60, a uh, freaking like a stab stuff and all that good shit. But yeah, super power from a Haram, the Emboar is gonna rain my parade, and uh, slacking isn't gonna appreciate that. At or in the very slightest, but I'm going to go into my um, Subat right now. I did take stuff or damage, but I know Super Power will do diddly squat to my Subat, and I can pretty much get off, get off a free calm mind here and get to plus two special attack and special defense, which is very nice. And um, I'm pretty sure he can't touch me either because if I he goes with Ice Beam, I'm I can take it pretty well because I have the special defense and rise as such. And if I can just roost off the damage and maybe um, if he ice beams me, then I am faster than him. So I can just remove it, but um, remove a flying type. But you know, he he does this and he has the haze. And I know I don't play RU, I didn't play RU at the time, so I didn't know what the hell it would want to do. The last thing I was expecting was a freaking haze though, and I'm like, well, you know, you know, I can't do much about that. And he toxics me now, and ASI did did the squat to it, so I cannot I cannot stay in. Um, even if, do I stay in? I don't know if I stay in, but basically me staying in is a bad position, bad thing for me to do because I can do literally nothing to it. Oh, here, here's, here's what happens. Uh, yeah, you will notice that he gets a better, better end of hacks in the spell because right now he's going to Ice Beam and uh, he freezes me. He freaking freezes me. That's so freaking annoying. I was like, oh, okay, so it's all embrace the hacks and all that good shit, but that few months later, I don't, I don't feel that like thankful or like funny because I could have gone for an earthquake here or a plane's pain split and I could have just dethawed and done a hell of a lot of damage to that thing. He probably thought I was going to switch out or he, if he went for flare bits he would have like, um, it would have killed me for one and he might have been able to thaw me out so he, he didn't know if I was a special defensive or normal defensive. I am fully a special defensive if you do follow this team and Dust Noir in general because I always run the same Dust Noir for some reason but that's my that's my set and um, yeah, I had the earthquake. Had the paint split, could have done more damage with it, but yeah, Frozen didn't work out for me. He's going to fear me to be um, Scarfed as well, or just the fact that he, I could probably do some damage with him, um, because he's probably choice banded at the point, at this point, because he didn't stay in and go for more moves, and yeah, stuff like that. But he's, I go for Discharge and he actually shows Leftovers, which is, and then he shows Baton Pass, I'm like, this is awkward. I, I, was, I was actually thinking he's probably Home Claws. Baton Pass, Iron Head, um, Substitute, something like that. Um, which he actually turned out to be, so um, I asked him in the chat, obviously. Um, so yeah, that was kind of a point blank kind of thing, which kind of surprised me. Put of guard, but uh, I didn't really play much too much of a role in this match, as you'll see soon. Um, I'm actually going for Wall of Despair because I wanted to get residual damage on that Kragonal because that thing's a huge threat to my team. 
and uh, right now he's going to go into Sigalith, and uh, I missed the Will Wisp, but it doesn't really matter because it's Sigalith and a Magikarp, so it wouldn't make a difference because it doesn't take residual damage from things. I'm going to discharge here, and I actually do over half. I do. I am modest, but I still don't think it would do that much because it's a freaking like Sigalith, and they're quite bulky and powerful. But that's only once they get a few cosmic powers up, or Carmine's up in this case. Um, but yeah, Psy Shock doesn't do too much to me. I do have um, defense, some defense EVs and a, a, a hefty amount of HP, so I'm going to take it relatively well. This is a custom set after all. Fangles is a custom set. Fangles is the custom of custom sets. And um, yeah, I'm fearing the Flare Blitz now. He's actually going to super power him, predicting my switch out into something, um, not into some, or prone to something else. Because actually goes super power and does the st uh, d does diddly squat because the intimidate and resistance. So Embar choice band Embar, it does it still does a nice chunk, but it doesn't do anywhere near enough to threaten me. And right now it's going to go for a spike. No, I'm actually going to go for taunt because oh I predicted this to come in as well because I was thinking he might want to go for iron heads and all that good shit. So yeah, that happens and I go for that taunt. Predicted that and now I'm going to go for a spike because um he can't baton pass or anything two meeks and um, he didn't want to risk that anyways so yeah he's going into MR now now I'm throwing him uh, quite quite fairly quite fearfully because he can go for wild charge and probably do enough to take me out or very much close to it because he is choice banded I'm pretty sure at this point in he indeed goes for it and I just go for Subat because it's pretty much death fodder and switch um, gives me a good pivot switch to go into anything else that I need to and if you did over predict on the off chance I might go for super power or anything, um, I could go to Suba and Sponge it easily and go for Air Slash and work it from there. But now I'm going to get the Intimidate drop with Quillfish as a comeback in. I'm pretty sure I could outspeed it because Quillfish is quite fast. I go for Warfall. And I do do that, but he actually switches out into his Cryogonal. And look at this damage! It almost kills off the freaking Cryogonal. It's like, lives with the Scylla, takes some leftovers of recovery. And I'm like, oh my days. Um, I also have leftovers because I didn't bother putting Black Sludge in it for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why, just don't judge me. But the fact is, um, I go into Archeops now, he goes Rapid Spin. Um, I kind of thought he wouldn't, um, I thought he'd pretty good for an Ice Beam to be fair, because, um, yeah, it was, layer, it was one layer of spike, I didn't really think it'd make much difference. But the fact is I missed freaking Stone Age, I'm like, how many times am I going to miss Stone Age? I missed Stone Age against Fozon in a crucial point in the game, I missed Stone Age here in a crucial point in the game. I didn't want to go for a freaking Flying, Ju flying Gem Boost Acrobatics, I didn't want to go for U-Turn because of freaking Stealth Rocks on the field. And I had like the uh, another move, which is Earthquake, and he has a levitating dude, so I couldn't do that. And that sucks for me, because now he's going to be able to go for an Ice Beam on my Quillfish, does like nearly 80, 80 HP damage. Which isn't going to be appreciated at all. Um, I do take it out finally, but the fact is, I could have potentially won um, much easier or won this game. You'll see. Um, I'm not going to spoil it. This game, because the thing is like, it's like that, and it's annoying. But going to go for another waterfall here, because I can uh, definitely outspeed it. And look at this, it lives on a smidgen. Like, da -da -da -da! damn it! Why are there all these things living on smidgens? But luckily, he did go for the rapid spin there, so yeah, I could have killed it off, but no. No, he did live with that little Scylla with the spike range of damage. But the fact is, I only have Fangles left. He has his Durant and some Paul left. He has Choice Scarfed, and he does. Wait, well, Choice Scarfed or Choice Specs? One or two. But the fact is, he takes me out in style with a freaking high beam. Like, you get you get cool points for that, man. Cool points, Tommy. Uh, cool game, Power Tos. I definitely want to rematch you for the third time in a different tier, hopefully, because I don't like Ayu. And Ayu is. Ayu? 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 Is not really my best tier as such. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy, because I enjoyed, and enjoying is enjoying, and enjoying is Robinson's Orange, and Robinson's Orange and water is nice, and West Indian extra pepper sauce is very spicy. I thought I'd just, thought I'd just add that for some reason. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and peace.